John Skelton's family arrived here at Metro tonight. They are going to the sentencing tomorrow. Here's the bottom line. They don't condone what their son did, but they are standing by him. It's my son. And um, I believe him. I believe in him. Roxanne Skelton gets emotional when she talks about her son, John, who is headed to prison. John Skelton will be sentenced on kidnapping charges tomorrow morning. All I can say is I love him. And I hate to see a young man with a lot of potential to be put away for something that is unconditional love. Roxanne and her husband John Sr. say they have faith their grandsons Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew, only five, seven, and nine years old, are still alive. They believe their son John's story is true about giving the brothers to an underground organization to protect them from his now ex-wife Tanya. I don't like the way he did it. He should have given me a call and but that's over the bridge. John's story has not been proven, and police are calling their disappearance last year on Thanksgiving a murder investigation. John was the last one to have seen them alive. Back in July, when John pleaded guilty to kidnapping charges, the judge revealed potentially damaging statements John made to law enforcement soon after his sons vanished. He asked if the investigators searched a park. Later again, he drew images from what he referenced as dreams and or nightmares, <clears throat> saying the boys may be near or behind a dumpster. The judge also said a search was done on John's computer for neck breaking and a noose was found in his home. His parents say there is an explanation for all of it. His voice and him was watching a kung fu type movie which showed a neck being broke. And his boys asked him if it's possible. He took them to a site on the internet that shows how the cranium and the neck is connected and how it would be disconnected. The nooses, my son was a Boy Scout leader and he was teaching the children about Indians and cowboys and the things they were doing. Skelton's parents are worried about their grandsons, but they have faith they'll be seen again and that their son will be exonerated. He was raised with respect and take responsibility for his actions, and he will. He'll come out of it fine. The family says they don't know if John will say anything at the sentencing tomorrow. They say if he does, it will be something very short, something to the effect of the fact that he loves his sons. Reporting from Metro Airport, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.